Dear Legosians, it's important to share with you my decision to venture into what I consider a much bigger facet of service to humanity. I am convinced it's best to hear directly from me. With my known career in the entertainment industry spanning over 25 years and the God-given grace to achieve quite remarkable success, I have had the privilege of access to work and engage with people from all walks and strata of life. Within this period, I've watched with great concern the plight of the less fortunate, especially in the youth category. And this drifted me towards my less popular but equally strong passion, which is to help, assist, and contribute to the growth of youths, women, and children. I was raised by a strict teacher father who retired as a school principal and a caring mother who is a medical doctor to be hardworking and to have value for life. Therefore, dignity of labor and compassion for the needy became second nature to me and resulted in the birth of the Jennifer Foundation. With this, I've been able to reach out and help the youths by providing job opportunities and welfare to those in need. I am a Lagosian, born out of Ikorodu. So when the Lagos PDP gubernatorial candidate, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron Jando, asked me to be his running mate as a deputy governor in the next year's gubernatorial election. I saw it as an opportunity to help liberate and improve the welfare of our people, particularly the deprived youth, women, and the girl child. My decision is not only to accept this huge responsibility, but also to work tirelessly and complement Jando's burning desire to see our dear state of Lagos live up to its full potential with the people as immediate and direct beneficiaries. Over the years, a lot of young people have been ignored, victimized, maimed, for daring to have a dream. So I use this opportunity to call out all well-meaning residents of Lagos, especially the youths. It's indeed time to use our numerical strength to our full advantage. It's time to take our rightful place in matters that concerns our lives and our future. It's time to rally ourselves and support our own. I am not unaware of the cost of this assignment to my vibrant career which I must now necessarily put on hold. It's a huge personal sacrifice, but my resolve is that no sacrifice is too much for the actualization of the urgent mission to rescue our people and our dear state. I must express my deep appreciation both to our party leadership and our gubernatorial candidates for considering me worthy of such a great call to serve our people. It's a call that I take with reverence and utmost sense of responsibility. Indeed, we can achieve a Lagos that truly works for all her residents as opposed to a privileged, hand-picked few. So let's do it. Given your mandate, be assured that the people's governor, Dr. Olajide Adediro, with the support of my humble self, represent the much-needed breath of fresh air in Lagos. Thank you. I am Olufunke Akindili, PDP Deputy Governorship Candidate, Lagos State. Ah, good morning, everybody. Hope you are all fine. We are fine in the United Kingdom here. I am fine. And I trust every one of us, we are doing well. Anyways, it's about Funke Akin Dele's declaration today. I think this is the first time she's publicly saying it, that she's coming out to run for the deputy governor of Lagos State. Good move, good move from Funke Akindele. Um, as you know, my platform, I promote unity, I promote good governance. And um, one of the things that I've always looked at is how can the youth be participants in this political arena? How can they show their interest, not by sitting behind the keyboard to criticize or do anything, but what can they bring on the table for others to see. Now, Funke Akindele has come out to say she wants to be the deputy governor of Lagos State. What can we do to support her if we are the youths? Uh, for me, I'm not an APC member. I'm not a PDP member. I'm not an advocate for any one of them because I believe all the political parties are the same. But now, if we talk about the individual, you understand, if we talk about the individual, we have to make uh, a decision on that that okay look at this person look at the antecedents of this person what can this person do number one what i know about funky akindele that i can testify because i've been with her before uh is the fact that she she was from you know right from the own seats doing her own thing you understand uh she has worked tirelessly tirelessly over the years 
to make a name for herself, to make a niche for herself. And that's where she is now. And she's told us about her background, her mother being a medical doctor, her father being um, a uh, 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 principal, you know, a retired principal, now late. Uh, but, you know, it's not even about that. It's about who that person is. We have seen so many things that Funke Akindele has done. And apart from that, like I, I do say, is the fact that we want a better governance for Lagos. We want a good Lagos. We want a Lagos that is working. Go to most of our hospitals in Lagos State. You'll be surprised that everything that you have to do, that you have to pay for it. These are public hospitals that have supposed to be free. Free for all. But you'll have to pay, you buy your gloves, you buy your needles before you see a physician. You'll have to pay your way through. Nothing seems to be working in Lagos State. Look at the rain that just fell. Three days rain, everywhere flooded. I'm not saying there's no always flood. There are flood. You can always experience flood anywhere in the whole world. But what is the government doing about it? Is what we're talking about. The drainage system in Lagos is bad, and it's been like that over the years. And no improvement. Health system zero basic amenities zero most of the schools students are seen puppies are seen sitting on the floor in the classrooms to receive lectures what kind of a state is that and the state that has a very large revenue people are paying their taxes what do you use the tax for that's the question so if the youths are out now, like Funke said, we want, we want a Lagos where our youth can work freely without any intimidation from the government, for, without any intimidation from the police, no harassment. We want a Lagos where our youth can get jobs. That is the Lagos we are looking for. It's now left for you to vote right. Vote right, citizens. The youths, you need to stand up, go get your PVC. Now you have a choice. If you're saying, oh, it's all these old, old leaders are, are, you know, are there, they won't bring us out, they won't let us have a say. Now you have a say there. If truly you want the change, go get your PVC. Now, the choice is yours in Lagos State. You have a younger ones that wants to be there. You have the older ones that, will, that have been there. You can choose between them and see what you want. Those ones that have been there before, that they've been doing it for years, what have they done that will make you vote for them? If you've got that to say, yes, we've got something for you to, for us to vote for you again, please go ahead and vote them in. If you feel you need a change because people have not done what they're supposed to do, why don't you do the same? Try and vote the new people in. So you've got choice now. Don't say, ah, no, we Kuku don't have a choice. Eh, there is no youth there. All of them, they are nana, na hold old people. Now, but now you have a younger one there now. You have a young lady there, a woman there, a young girl, a youth. And then you have the ones more experienced there too. In the name of Songo Olu and his deputy. So you, the choice is now yours. All I will say is choose right. Vote for your conscience. Do not vote for money. Do not sell your votes. Do not sell legal states. Vote right. Thank you.